Hey, do you own an Xbox? If you do, you should take a look at Streamlabs Console, which is a brand new web-based broadcasting studio for console streamers. Streamlabs Console combines live stream alerts, chat, recent events, and stream overlays into a single solution. And I'm gonna show you how to get started with it. Here we go. Now, before we begin, Streamlabs Console is exclusively for the Xbox. So how does Streamlabs console work? Well, streamers can choose Streamlabs as a destination from their Xbox dashboard. All you have to do is log into Streamlabs console to customize the stream. You can choose to personalize it any way with widgets, overlays, or web camera included by the streamer. To start using Streamlabs console, you first have to log into Twitch on Streamlabs console. You can do this from your computer, mobile phone, or tablet. Then we need to add overlays. Streamlabs console comes with a variety of overlay themes you can automatically add to your stream to help you stand out from the crowd. Now we can customize your widgets. We'll automatically add an alert box, chat box, and event list to your live stream. To customize these widgets, all you need to do is log into streamlabs.com, sign in using your Twitch, and visit our widgets dashboard to customize each one. If you want, you can also add extra layers like custom images or your webcam. From your Xbox dashboard, navigate to capture and share, then live streaming, then more options. Select Streamlabs as your destination, then you can click go live and you're ready to live stream. Following these easy steps, we'll send your stream to Streamlabs console, where we will combine all of your components, including web cameras, overlays, alerts, and then broadcast it live to Twitch. Okay, let's talk about recommended bit rates for just a moment. We here at Streamlabs currently support streaming at 720p and 1080p. So in the Twitch app, you need to change your bit rate accordingly to match what you wanna stream at. If you're not sure where you should start, we recommend you begin with 720p as it will give you the best balance between performance and quality. Everybody will be a little bit different, so don't be afraid to play around with this, but 3000 is a good place to start. If you wanna learn more about Streamlabs console, you can go down in the video description and click on the link, or better yet, I'm gonna to toss a couple of videos here up on screen that show you all the fun things you can do with Streamlabs console. My name is Wild, helping you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. I'll catch you all later, take care, and of course, peace.